Start with injuries, Manuel, please. Yes, uh, injuries are Martina Michelis, uh, Jovetic, Aguero, and Mika Richards, are the four players that are not fit. Um, how is Joe Hart with the uh, eye problem? Joe Hart uh, has well, uh, a cut in his eyes, but nothing important, so he will. It, uh, it's always important, <laughs> but. But it's not dangerous, and he can play without any risk. Are you confident that now he's back in the side, he will return to the, the best goalkeeper that he can be? I hope, of course, everyone know why Joe Hart uh, was the first goalkeeper, or, or is the first goalkeeper here in England, because he he played in two or three years in a very high performance. On the performance, he he can do it. So. We hope that he will continue in the same way. Are you looking at the, the transfer window now? Have you got plans for any players coming in or any players going out? No, for the moment we are not talking about that. We are always analyzing what we need, what, what we don't need. The possibility of the winter, the, of the winter of the window transfer for for every club. We'll see what we are going to do in in the next next days. Two wins over Christmas, which is fantastic. Um, how do you look at the, the title race now, when you look at the table? I think that uh, it was a fantastic month for us. We played 10 games during December, and we, we won nine, and we draw ju just one in, in, in Premier League. We won from the last seven, we won, we won six. So it was very, very important for us to recover points um, with Arsenal, that he, the, they were six points on top of us. So it was very important to finish the year in the position that we wanted to be. Yeah. Always better to be first, but I think that recover six points in, in a month is not, is not a, a less thing. So uh, we continue also Capital One in, in, in Champions League. So I think that the first six months of the year uh, it was very good for us. We prepare all the competitions that we are playing. Now in the second half we try to, to win it. And Swansea away this time, they're a, a team that are strong at home and they play good football. Are they a team that could cause you problems? I think that every team in the Premier League can cause problems to our team and to all the other teams. That's why it's so close, this Premier League. I repeat what I said uh, the one week ago. Uh, the six, six or seven teams will be fighting for the Premier League till, till the end. This we continue exactly the same as, as the first half. that. In four uh, or five points, you have five, five teams. I think the second half will be exactly the same. So Sonsu is, is a team that plays very well at home and at away. And I will, I will, we will need to be very strong in all sense, defending and attacking to, if, we, if we want to win the three points. Has that been a surprise for you coming here to England and, and seeing just how difficult it is to win games because the league is so strong? No. No, it's not, no, it's what, not a surprise for me. I, I live in Europe for the last 10 years, so I always see the, living in Spain, but I always see uh, the Premier League, so I know that there are strong teams. I think that the budget of, of the clubs are more uh, similar than, 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 in, than in Spain, and that's why you have six or seven important teams. And all the other teams, maybe they, can, they cannot win the league, but the league, but they are a very strong team also. No, well, you uh, same the other day about, about Crystal Palace and then their approach and how they made it difficult for you. Did you expect other teams to follow what Crystal Palace did and take that approach? I don't know what other teams will do in the future here at Etihad. I think that Crystal Palace played the game that they thought that was the best for, for them and we tried to resolve that with the problem. It's difficult when you are not fresh. When you know, I repeat it, we played 44 hours after a very tough game that was against Liverpool. But what will happen in the future, I don't know. But it's our problem to resolve it. And those players that weren't involved in the day, Pablo Zabaleta, Yaya Torre, are they um, refreshed for the, the break? Yes, of course. Pablo played uh, against Liverpool in, in the limit. I think that was a, a risk to, to injure. Uh, he had a muscle injury to, to near front to play uh, uh, two games uh, in 44 hours. Yaya Touré, Negredo, they were a little tired. I think it was better to refresh. And how is Sergio Aguero missing on his recovery? Sergio is uh, 
he's doing his, uh, his, his recovery for, for, for his calf injury, I think that, I suppose that in January he will be uh, okay. Well, well, could I ask you, please, about um, the photograph of Sami Nazri that's appeared this morning making this same gesture that Nicholas and Elke made at West Ham over the weekend? I don't know what you are talking about, so I can't answer you. But you know, you know the, the publicity about this gesture? I don't know, I haven't seen it yet. So. I read that uh, something happened with Anelka, but I don't know nothing about Samina. I can't talk about other things that I haven't seen.